Good day and welcome back to my channel. This is build update number one. Um, Soviet STZ-5. Uh, Soviet artillery tractor. So this is an interesting build. The uh, it, I like the subject. It's really cool. It ends up being a lot smaller than I anticipated. Uh, when you look at... When I look at this, you know, I was thinking, hey, it looks kind of like a truck. Um, at 135th scale, you know, I, I've done... You know some of the larger truck models and i was thinking oh, okay you know it'll be a little bit bigger turns out not so much um it is 135th scale is actually kind of small for this thing but it uh it's actually a nice little build and so far the 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 uh the instructions and the way this build has gone together right now for vulcan um i'm actually fairly impressed with this so I'll go ahead and go over. There are a couple of gotchas that I've run into. You know, I've done an unboxing. You know, I, I can put the link down below, but I've done an unboxing of this and just gave you a look at the overall instructions and the and the, the parts and pieces. But as I look at this and we go through, this is actually really well laid out. The numbers and the frames work well, so they're actually intelligently articulated. The instructions are a little bit of a pain because one of these, you know, big, long, pulled out things, but it works because you can, I I kind of like having the, the the sprue map here, but then I just laid out the sprues so that I could find them and then I was good. So overall, um, this this is a, a pretty straightforward kit. It's, uh, the sprue gates are a little bit big, so you've got some cleanup and things to do here and there, but, you know, overall it's, it's not bad. Um, I am maybe halfway on the actual assembly of this and I'm taking my time and just kind of playing around with what it is and, and playing around with the, uh, with the details and so forth. But I'll be honest, there's, it's a very well engineered kit. It goes together well. I've gotten us to about this much where we have the, um, undercarriage put together and, the suspension now yes you see little metal springs for the pieces um let's talk about this a little bit so it goes together these these you start off that your main frame here is put together with these two sides this piece this piece and this and that's this and that sort of builds your main frame and yes they're a little fiddly these two pieces, I've already broken one off. Now, for me, that's not a big deal because this is going to go into a diorama of used and abused. So it's okay for me, but it's a little disappointing. You're gonna really wanna be careful. Um, the other piece is looking like it's begging to get knocked off. And I still need to clean it up just a little bit. And I'm hopeful that uh, that it won't end up breaking when I do the cleanup. Um, and they just kind of rest in the spot where they are, These pe that piece there. Um, I could actually even probably make a, another one out of wire and I might do that. They don't slot in. And that's the one thing I am finding out about this. So if you're used to a Tamiya kit or a kit that has good locating holes and so forth, you will be you will find this slightly challenging. Um, some of the locating pins and holes are a little big for what they're doing, so you have to trim or do whatever. And I found that to be, I, I mean, I just got done doing a, a Zvezda kit, so it wasn't really a surprise, so I didn't really have a challenge with it, but it, if I had just done a Tamiya kit or something like that, it would have been a little more, oh, yeah, I gotta do that. Um, going through here now, this is the first one where I get to say, dude, this is fiddly. Um, that is that piece right there. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six pieces go together to form that drive. So there's a piece, there's a piece, that little piece there, those, those two pieces are, they're very, 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 well, fiddly. Um, and of course the instructions, which is interesting, it has you, you have the engine here and the drivetrain here, and then it has you put that in once you've put these two together, 
don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Save this part till that's together. Put that together, then drop that in, then put this in. So reverse six and seven. Because um, otherwise you will be cursing up a storm when you put, once this piece goes on, because it locks in pretty heavily to this bar, which is your one of your main supports. Um, and your engine piece, that the bottom of your engine right there too, there is no flexibility here, so don't. Another gotcha that I did find, these two pieces are called D25. Actually, B as in Baker 25, not Delta 25. Um, so it's on your B sprue. And you can tell by the number, um, the numbers, your, your 20s and 30s are in your, your Baker sprue. Um, and low numbers are in your Delta sprue. And you will find that when you look at your, your sprue map. Um, and it also shows you here, you can see the actual numbers for, you know, Echo 8 are those. Uh, so you'll see that. Let's be aware. I spent a little bit of time looking for those pieces. Uh, fiddly. That's them. Right there. Um, look at the size of my finger. Look at the size of those. Okay. That's super fiddly, putting that piece in there. This goes in here. Um, also, I found that this hook piece is a little bit long for where it goes. I actually needed to trim that one a little bit to drop it in. Um, this piece right here, that one right there, which is right where, 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 where? Here. That one, also very fiddly. The locator pins are too long. You have to trim them down so you can drop that one in place. I almost lost it on the floor. Um, all of the rest of this stuff is is pretty straightforward. These are kind of wibbly wobbly when you go to put them in. Um, so you need to rest them and, and set them sideways to make sure that they'll, they'll form up. Uh, now that they're in, I can do a little bit of cleanup work. Uh, still, some of the sprue gates are still showing. I can now clean these pieces up as I wandered through this. Now, none of this is hard. Absolutely none of these steps are hard. Uh, like I said, that's a little bit fiddly. Actually, it's a lot bit fiddly. That's a lot bit fiddly. Um, this here is a little bit fiddly. The It's that piece right here for the idler wheel. Um, because there's a, a piece here, a piece here, a piece there. And then to get that to square up, there we go, let's get this in here. There. So to get this piece here to square up, you've got to kind of get creative here. And like I said, this piece right here is a little bit long and you have to trim it. So it's this right here. You'll see one of these on each one. Just trim that maybe, maybe about a millimeter, most, okay? Um, otherwise, the majority of this goes together. Now, this stuff here. This is where it's saying glue individual track link pieces around the sprocket and around the um, uh, idler wheel. I am not going to do that. Um, so I intentionally skipped that. I actually would like to do this as a you know abandoned vehicle so i'm gonna want i'm either going to i'm considering letting the tracks be fallen off and sort of spread out um i also have been looking at the track sag so if we look at the pictures here there is no sag at all between these two wheels when i look at pictures of these I do see some sag so the problem is these are Lincoln Link tracks so getting sag out of these may be difficult um I may heat these up we're gonna see but the short version is I just totally skipped that as it was went ahead put all the wheels on together no I didn't pre-paint them I will go ahead and paint them in a bit um but I am now to step 22, where I have chosen to skip 
putting those on and I am ready to start step 24, which is beginning to put the cab together. So that's as far as I've gotten. Um, overall, so far, I'm impressed. I like this kit. I'm, I, I like it. it. The engineering is nice. Even with the little fiddly pieces, um, it's going together well. There are very minor little bits that need to be reviewed. Like I said, I've got cleanup to do where the, the clip is, but overall, this is going together well. And um, it will, I expect I'm going to get out of it what I'm, what I'm looking for. Uh, looking ahead to what's ahead of me, um, like my door, my windows for my doors are actually, where's my door, here's my door. So my, the windows for my door are actually inside the piece. So I'm considering having a window rolled down or partially down, um, considering having a window broken, a couple of things like that, which I can do. My front window, so on the real thing, these windows actually go up and down. So this is on a frame that would, that can be lifted. Um, it's all part of the one piece of clear, pla or clear plastic. So if I'm going to use mylar or whatever I normally use for glass, I'm going to have to redo the frame. So that's making me rethink whether or not I'm going to do that. Um, overall so far though, you know, the, obviously the inside is very, or the, the inside of the cab is very simplistic, but that's the way it is for the real thing too. So there we go. So far, this is, uh, a, I'm, I'm happy with the build. It, it was just playing around with a couple hours, you know, really only a couple of hours of just patient work got me here. Um, I suspect I'm going to put the cab together in sections so that I can paint inside and out and then do a lot of the, the stuff that I want to do. But uh, yeah, um, this, I, I recommend this kit. I really do. Um, so far, <laughs> so far. And for now, I, you know, again, if you if this kit's on your radar and you're interested in it, um, I hope this is helpful and you like it. Uh, and, uh, you know, I'll be back for the next build a little bit later. So until then, you know, happy bottling, everyone. Take care.